Welcome to Electro Online. Some viewers wrote in saying that we didn't do any videos yet on the derivatives of exponentials and natural logarithms. When I checked, I couldn't find any, so here we are, a small set on how to take the derivative of exponential functions and logarithmic functions. But before we do that, let's review some of the basic rules and principles of logarithms and exponentials. First of all, we can say that the log to the base 10 of 100 is equal to 2 because 10, which is the base of the logarithm, raised to the second power equals 100. So that's usually the best way that you can kind of comprehend what logarithms do. Logarithms take big numbers and turn them into small numbers by using the base. And the relationship is if you take the base and raise it to this exponent, you get this number back. Now, we also know that the logarithm to the base e is called the natural logarithm because e is called the natural number. And we'll get into that in a little bit more detail in a later video. We can do the same thing here by using the natural log. The natural log of the number 7.3890561 is equal to 2 because, same thing again, we take the base, which is the natural number e, raised to the second power, and we get that original number back. Because of that, knowing that relationship, we can then make some rules. We could then say that y is equal to the log of base b of x. That means that the base raised to the exponent y is equal to x, so we get that number back. So this is basically the same thing as what we wrote there, but in a more general form. Now when we use natural logarithms, since the base is now e, but we don't write it, so we can say that since y is equal to the natural log of x, that means that the base e raised to the exponent y is equal to the number x. And keep in mind that the natural number, which is a non-repeating decimal, is equal to 2.71828 out to five decimal places. Now, we can also write it in a form that we're usually used to seeing it. Instead of writing the x over here, instead of taking the natural log of x, we're going to take the natural log of y. So we're going to reverse everything because we usually write y is equal to e to the x because this becomes the independent variable and this becomes the dependent variable. So when we write it like this, then we reverse things and write that x is equal to the natural log of y. So that's the same thing, just in a different format. Now, if we take what's on the right side here, and we take the left side of this equation and write it as the exponent of e, and we take the right side of the equation and write it as the exponent of e, then here on the left side we have e to the x, and on the right side we simply have y, because e raised to the natural log of something, we simply get that's something back, in this case the y. So here we have it summarized, e, the natural number, raised to the exponent, the natural log of something, in this case the natural log of y, we get y back because the exponential negates the natural logarithm. So one basically negates the other. So based upon that, we can simply write that if y is equal to e to the x, that means that x equals the natural log of y, and also keep in mind that this is always the case. So those are some of the basic rules and, and uh, tricks that you need to know so that you can deal with natural logarithms and deal with exponential functions before we start on taking the derivative of them. In the next several videos, we're going to talk a little bit more about the rules of logarithms and exponentials. And after we have that mastered, then we're ready to start taking those derivatives of the natural logs and the exponential functions. So stay tuned. We'll show you how to do that.